Welcome. In this video, we illustrate a typical use case for Event Viewer in Application Control. We show how it can be used to discover and then manage user privileges. We can use Application Control to raise events that tell us what applications are being run with admin credentials. We can then review that data and use the information to configure rules accordingly. First, we need to enable the relevant event. In Management Center, go to your Deployment Group, Settings, Auditing, Application Control. Scroll and ensure that Event ID 9062 is enabled. This will ensure that Application Control will raise an event whenever an application is started with full admin rights. For a list of all event IDs available, refer to the auditing topic in Application Control Help. Once configured, event data will be gathered in Management Center, and after a period of data gathering, you will want to review that data and update your configuration accordingly. Now we go back to Application Control Console and start Event Viewer. For this example, we want the Privilege Discovery View. When we run Query, we see much event data is returned. Many of these events have been run by the network service and we can choose to filter these out. We right click and from the context menu, select Filter Editor. In our case, we want to specify username does not equal the network service. The filter displays only the names that are not the network service, enabling us to view only the data we're interested in. We can save this query so that next time we want to review the data, we do not have to recreate the filter. We click Save As and enter a name for the custom view. In the future, whenever we start the event viewer, the custom view will be listed and available for selection. We can use the event data results to update the configuration rules directly. Let's say we want to create a rule for this admin user here. In Application Control, we go to Rules, User, right-click and add a user rule. In the dialog, we enter the domain and username required or click the ellipsis to select. We then go to the required user privileges and from Event Viewer, we can drag in the events we want to allow. In this case, the rule type item is file name. The applications are added and we can click each one to edit the rule if required. We click the Metadata tab to see the metadata fields are present but not yet enabled. We simply select the fields required to enable them and again repeat this for each application added. We then save the configuration back to Management Center for deployment. Once deployed, the applications we added will be auto-elevated by application control for the selected user. The Event Viewer feature allows you to query event data raised from endpoints in application control, review that data and use it directly to update your configuration rules.